Hi guys, Caitlin here. Special treat today. I thought I would show you how to create the perfect smoky eye for like a night out with your girlfriends or date night or, oh, oh. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm being told that this video is actually about necrophilia. Roll the credits. James asks, how prevalent is necrophilia in the funeral industry? Although I know you won't answer this question. Well, that's a rather sassy assumption for you to be making, James. You don't know me. You don't know what I will and will not answer. I know that conversations on necrophilia are not for everyone, even though they should be, because everybody benefits from rational educational exposure to taboo topics. But if it's really not for you, you can just click your heels three times and say, there's no place like cat videos. Necrophilia fact, derived from the Greek word for corpse, necros, and love, philia, a Belgian psychologist first coined the term necrophilia in 1850. So, something to share with your friends. What James is asking about is the stereotype of the creepy, lonely guy who works the night shift at the funeral home or morgue, and everybody goes home and he's like, Doris, at last we're alone. So how close is that to reality? Well, we do know that necrophiles are overwhelmingly men. We know that there's no solid proof that necrophilia is genetic or something that you're born with. And we know, and I say no here in quotes because it's so rare that the data isn't really there, but only about 15% of necrophiles are motivated by real genuine sexual attraction to a dead body. That's a tiny percentage. More often, by a wide margin, the desire is to obtain an unrejecting, unresisting partner. Perhaps these are men who were impotent with living women or unable to create romantic attachments, but with a dead body, the anxiety of rejection isn't there, so they're able to perform. Dead bodies are emotionally safe, and they're able to project their desires onto what is essentially a blank canvas. But what about corpse rights? Is it a victimless crime? Even if you believe that a corpse can't be a victim, the family of a corpse most certainly can. The dead body is sacred for many, and the thought of it being violated is hugely distressing. For a lot of people, necrophilia is the most oh, no, 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 crime that they can imagine, but the laws don't always reflect that. In 2008, Wisconsin finally passed a law banning necrophilia after they dismissed cases. Well, there's nothing in here. No law specifically against it. To your question, how prevalent is necrophilia in the funeral industry? You know how every couple of years there'll be a news story that's like teenage Satanists having orgies in the woods and their numbers are growing. Could your kids be involved? And it turns out that it was a bunch of 15 year olds smoking weed in an abandoned building in the woods and one of them spray paints a crappy pentagram on the wall and a rookie cop finds it and suddenly it's our babies being sacrificed. Which is to say that necrophilia is not the terrible secret that every mortician knows and no one will speak publicly of. There are always stories, but they're like, yeah, Tim at Hernandez and Sons knew this guy when he used to work at Pacific Crest Mortuary who used to work with the guy who's totally a necrophiliac. Please don't leave a rumor that you heard in the comments. I will send you a check for $42 if you don't do that. People are more interested in it than it actually happens, but it's totally okay that you're fascinated by it because it's grade A transgressive stuff, the most taboo thing we can culturally imagine. Necrophilia has a lot of countercultural appeal nowadays. These could just be kitsch, but it could also be that we're so afraid of death and so distant from dead bodies that we want to transform our fear into desire in an attempt to master it somehow. To sum up, if you are worried about the very rare chance that your loved one could be a victim, remember that it's legal to keep the dead body under your care at home so you can keep an 
eye on it until the very moment of burial or cremation. If you're worried you are a necrophiliac, my friend Snow Mercy, a dominatrix who also happens to be my doppelganger, gave a great talk recently on corpse play or necrophilia role play, which is available at some dungeons and something that you can do other than breaking laws or psychologically damaging a family forever. The secret to the smoky eye is starting with a really solid taupe base coat.